Question for you. Yes. If The Rock's production company, what's it called again? For, uh, seven bucks. Seven, right. If they came to you and said, doing another four-parter, life and death of a click, what's, would Paul... What's, what's the death? The, Fucking the, the, the separation. Uh, all right, life of the click. Whatever, fine. Dude. Yeah, the, the, and then fucking the, on the on the what the third day, fucking Paul comes on off the cross and runs the company. <laughs> like what a loss for us. The other guys run NXT. Does Paul participate? Huh? I you don't have to ask. I, I don't. I, what's the upside? For him. Yeah. What's the upside for any of us? If you're happy with how this series is done, and you can look at it as if everyone in the company, Vice and Rock's company, if they treat it well, and you think that it's a comprehensive and accurate and entertaining series, and you could have that be the definitive word on your friends. I'm giving it a fucking... Two and a half stars right now. Ooh. Got two episodes left, bro. Yeah, they better. Cause I but then again, like I didn't realize like everybody would be would come back with and I'll just have to the only reference I can make to is that like they must have been blowing some robots. They got a bitter metallic taste in their mouths. Just there's, there's some bitter fucking pitches. Oh, yeah. Sure. God damn, man. I just keep making reference to the fact that fucking I got paid. My check pal. Is, I recall it being a job. Am I the only one? Well, the thing, Kev, is that your position in that time, you were in an advantageous position because you guys going over there got the ball rolling and no one forgot that over there. So... You guys were treated as the, you were Magic and Kareem and worthy. And so that's a good place to be. But if you're, I'm trying to think of someone off the bench in 1987 for the Lakers. Rambus? Kurt Rambus, there's the visual. If you're Kurt Rambus, you might, your time there might have been a little different. Might have been treated know. a little differently. So you have the fortune of looking at it from atop the hill, Kevin. Those, I know that the other we people. walked around the locker room and told everybody what, how much we were making and said, you need to go ask for more money. Yeah, because you had the match clause. They didn't know that. <laughs> I they thought you they, or Scott or someone told me thought, how happy you were when Brett came. They thought fucking the, the sting money at 750 they thought that was still the ceiling. We're like, oh. Amazing. We killed it. Neil Scott <laughs> killed it. So you're saying no upside to tell this story? The click story? Yeah. No, because the good parts are the debauchery, and that's not Shawn Michaels anymore. It never was Paul, but... I don't agree, and you've told me this for... 15 years when I first approached you about, I think, a book back, it probably wasn't 15, maybe 10 years ago or something. <clears throat> and you said, it's all the train wreck stories that, that people want in the partying and stuff. But I really think that the, for me anyway, the mark in me, and maybe it's just my age, but I think the business portion of this, which ties into everything we're talking about at WCW anyway, I think that aspect of it, the politics of what's going, what did you mean to Vince at that time? And what did the promise of you guys? Obviously not enough to have him fucking match the contracts we were. But, but maybe is it legit that he couldn't? Absolutely. Yeah. But so would the, you have done anything you could to keep you guys? Would you have sold off whatever? The water, you know, the water coolers in Titan that, Tower. That, that whole fucking butterfly effect shit. I go down that rabbit hole. The first thing I say is, what if when you talk to Magic and he says he's going to Michigan State and you say, fuck, I'm going to go with you. That means, number one, boom. No matter how you look at it, 
I'm on a national championship team. Mm. It changes my, but at the same time, do I meet my wife? Do I have my kid? Like, like you change one thing. Maybe I make it. Maybe I make it in the pros for three fucking years. As some fucking token white goon on the fucking, on some roster. And I'm 20 fucking four years old. And now I'm on my own and I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do. Of course. Uh, it's true. I mean, I had a, I look at it, the th things. Yeah, I got, I blew my knee out making fucking a, a pittance of what I would have, but I still had a fucking 30 year run in, in, in our, in our business. Well, the, your episode of guest Booker, <clears throat> a fascinating one. If anyone would like to go to the Casey vault, become a member and watch it. I mean, it may be free this month. Actually, I saw it pop up was if the outsiders stay inside, what could you guys have done creatively in W if you were the booker in WWF? Um, but that aside, I think it would be, I think it would be a worthwhile project. And I know why you're saying what's the upside. It's all the stories. And Sean's not like that anymore. Of course. But I mean, we see rock stars all the time profiled in documentaries and stuff, talking about their olden days from a different perspective. No one would, I don't think anyone would doubt Sean's. But uh, I'm over it. I, I'm just over it. If you open a different, that a... check every three months with those NWO letters, they, nobody's over it because of, of be, what the NWO was. Start that—that that was an offshoot of the click. I get that, but I just—I'm not over getting paid. I'm just over the fact that I, I don't want to tell the same story three hundred times. Get that, and, and I guess what I'm saying is, what if it's not the same story? What if it's done differently, intelligently, to lays out things nobody thought about before? Uh, what if you're let, an executive uh, producer and you have some control no, of it? No, I have fucking complete control. <laughs> seven, seven, seven bucks in Spartacus Productions. Yeah, but does Zonka get tired of talking about the seventy-two Dolphins? Like, I don't know. I'd, it's, I'd have to ask him. I'm it's sure he history. does. Yeah. I'm sure he does, but every once in a while, I think something comes along and it show, it, it's different. It's not the same 15 questions. It doesn't show the same bullshit and posit the same theories. It's maybe done at a deeper level. I don't know. I think like a definitive four-hour click documentary would be amazing. It would do better numbers than this, certainly, and anything that they've produced before. And it can't be a WWE production. It's got to be an independent eye. Yeah, but you can't because they own all the footage. Well, you could license it. But obviously, they're rock all, license. They're it. always yeah, but then I still don't feel that this is completely. This is like when you're in third grade and you t the person tells a story and they tell the person behind them and they tell. The game it of telephone? All, and it goes yeah, all the way through, and at the end, the fucking guy says, yeah, Tommy blew a robot. So it's not, it's not what happened. Yeah, but with you and Sean and Paul, no, nobody else is telling the... But that fucking, it's just like the Beatle reunion when John Lennon got shot in front of the Dakota, when Scott Hall passed. That story's done. Because he's not here to tell his part. Of it. Not here to tell his part. That's a different answer than the what's in it for us. I'll tell you all day long what's in it for you, but that's a different story. Yeah. That's, and so you don't think you four would be qualified to speak for Scott? No, I just watched the fucking special on him and had three different in, in the in the same fucking documentary and had three different stories about the fucking shooting at the doll club the doll house and i was just like i just don't want to don't, don't just don't want to go there don't want to do it america i tried 
Not America. Globe. See, wrestling let's, world. Let's just, I tried. How, let's just see how this thing plays out. Like I said, I, I really, man. Two anything. and a half stars. Is, it's not playing out. It's, it's just, I, there's nothing earth shattering. I think fucking, it, it almost seems, the first two episodes seems like Eric Bischoff's taken a thousand body shots. Hmm. And not once is anybody saying, in the world, the only person that has ever beat Vince McMahon at the game of professional wrestling from a business standpoint, from a production standpoint, from a numbers standpoint, is Eric Bischoff. Hmm. Period. I don't give a fuck. You can try to chip away all you want what he did. But the, the fact of the matter is he fucking is the only one on the planet that has that. And he's having to defend himself against a bunch of fucking goofs. If we all right, so if the, I have a hard on for this. So if the click documentary happened, who would you want as executive producer to be interviewed? The thing I have to say about the WCW documentary, getting Jim Hurt, getting the executive story from it, just uh, talking about the WCW documentary. I think right Dwayne's done I think a that good was great. job. Yeah, and I th it, it, it's like when I watched the rivalry of the rivalry show of Hogan versus Rock from WrestleMania 18 in Toronto, mm -hmm. and the build up when we came back and everything. But you forget how fucking it's just how magic fucking Hulk was. Oh, he looks like a Greek god in that fucking ring he's so fun he's perfect he looks like a like if you drew a caricature of a fucking professional wrestler what a professional wrestler would look like in that era yes certainly i watched that thing granted maybe i was a little fucking stoned <laughs> but i had goosebumps several fucking times and it was because I was there live watch and watched it. Mm. And I was there in, in, in Rosemont when he went out there and Rock and him for the that first time got f face to face and the, the, in the back fucking, including Mr. Pritchard. Mm -hmm. oh, it'd be 80-20 fucking, it'd be 80-20 Rock if fucking Hogan's lucky. And it was like fucking 96 point fucking four. Is that a fucking quote? Hogan. Yeah, that's a quote. Huh. Mr. Know-it-all. Who needs to be the talking heads in the click this do in the click documentary? Who needs to be called? Obviously, Vince and J Eric. JJ. Crucial. JJ, just to recreate the they're talking. JJ would have to be there. Briscoe. Briscoe, uh, a big proponent of what you guys were doing, or were you a thorn in his side? No, because Briscoe, like when, when we, when Scott and I were leaving, and we fucking made a can in India and started smoking fucking hash and fucking standing up and blowing the smoke out of the fucking top of the bus, and Briscoe fucking came back there like on a fucking power walk and sat down fucking behind us, and he goes. God damn, let me hit that. I thought the fucking boys were dead. <laughs> I was just like, fuck yes. Jerry Briscoe, like fucking Jerry Briscoe is the fucking man. Mm. He was just like, he was he was just like, I you could see I me, mean, it was with all his fucking all his heart, man. He's just I thought the boys were dead. He just thought we had just turned into just bitches. Bruce, is Bruce in? Did Bruce have a hand? I didn't really deal that much with Bruce. Okay. It's just, it, it just, once Bruce was more of, I had more of a, like a friend than a boss relationship with Bruce. Because Vince, once Vince had my folder and I was going to be the guy, Vince. I was just... You, know, you dealt with him, right? So, yeah, I just dealt with, okay. I dealt with Vince. Shane, what was Shane's role in all this? Is he one of the talking heads in the clip? Absolutely, because Shane was... Shane was... has always fucking been fucking super hip and fucking ahead of the fucking curve. See somebody you bounce an idea off of and get good feedback? 
uh, from. Yeah, but he was also a guy that fucking, like, he had good sneaker game before anybody had good sneaker game. I'll just In leave the it ring, at that. too, yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. What about, what about now talent? Now, what talent? Because we want to hear the guys that understood what you were doing, but I'd also want to hear the guys God, but, oh, that man, did yeah. not. I think T- DiBiase would be great because he fucking, he, he did not like us. Henry was clearly going to bitch slap all of his. No, so. but it, this was, his problem was with Sean. Oh. Thing. Russo. Russo has to be. Russo, you have to realize Russo fucking, when the click was all together, he was in charge of the magazine. But, hmm. But when you go, all right, we're, we're, we're timeline me here when he goes over to Atlanta. That's, he's not, that's not click. He goes over to Atlanta like when Eric gets fucking let go. Yeah, and I, so I'm, that's just, it's you, Scott and Sean. Then. Yeah, right. Uh, so talent wise, so who was down with what you guys were trying to do? And <laughs> you considered an ally? No, I, you, I know not many, <laughs> but Aldo Montoya, what's his name? You, you always said was could have been a could have been a Click member, right? Unofficial member of the Click, PJ. Yeah, Spicoli. Uh, it's Spicoli, that's right. Yes. Spicoli was fucking Scott's young boy. Might be it. Jared was Jared always traveled with us. Okay. Jeff was always I was I've been cool with Jeff since the day I met him. Today, news items aside, would Vince in his interview for the Click documentary produced by Butch and Sundance Media, would he look back fondly as Yo, lightning I, in a bottle I, or I, th- I think regret I mean, not doing everything to keep you? No, I, I just think that Vince would look at it and just say everything generated out of those five guys. Right. But it also was the sword that he fell on. Yeah, but he he rode that sword back. It's, I've always said, man, that we showed him how to build the Saturn. And was, when it was time to go to the moon, he fucking kicked us out of the fucking capsule and said, I got it from here. Mm-hmm. While they pulled a fucking hand out of fucking May's box. Or tunt. 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 <laughs> How about a new video segment, Kev? How about a new little something here? Something a little masculine. Okay, 